Once again, we have evidence pointing to a full EV Camaro. I'm not sure that's a bad thing. Now hear me out guys, but what's going on? Matt over here, Lethal Garage. It is time to talk about this teaser. Uh, it came out almost a week ago and I kind of sat back and was watching a lot of videos, a lot of what press was saying, seeing if any mumblings or rumors were coming out of GM after the announcement, but GM did like a little reveal in front of its employees, some investors, um, stock market peoples, whatever, talking about the future of GM's EV platforms. And they highlighted a little video here, and I'm just gonna insert it here so you guys could see it. That showed off some, I guess you would say concept designs, but in reality, it's not even a concept design, it's a concept outline. So obviously there's some vehicles coming down the pipeline that are gonna mimic this. Just before this video went live, they teased the new EV Hummer. And if you guys didn't see that, check it out here. But all that being said, GM is moving to a, I, I don't know if they're moving all of their production, but back in 2000, I wanna say it was 2018, Mary uh, went out and said by 2023, no vehicles will be coming off the production line that are at least a hybrid or full electric um, car. Now, I don't know what that means for the C8 Corvette or if that includes the C8 Corvette, because currently, the C8 vet that's rolling off the lines is a full gas motor. Do they have plans to upgrade so at least there's some sort of electrical component uh, to the lower end vet? We all know the higher end one is gonna have some sort of electric assist with electric motors to make it a crazy car. But as far as the base model car, we don't know. The one thing that's really scary to me and before this EV announcement even happened, a lot of my dealerships in my area here in Southern California they have like zero Camaros on the lot, like none. Like no i4s, no v6s, no v8s, no zl1s, like nothing, nada. And I'm like, what is going on? Is there a hold back? And I talk with the ordering guy over at my local dealership and he's like, no, we got Camaros on order. They're just not sending them or not building them. So it has me, I mean, and if they are building them, they're held up somewhere. I don't know where, so. It has me wondering, everyone always looks at the sales month to month and with no Camaros on the lots, and I'm sure there's dealerships near you that have tons of Camaros. Let me know in the comments below if that's true or not. Um, but there's none, there's none out here, at least not at the dealerships near me, which is crazy to me to think. There's no, like not even the base models are there. Uh, they have, they had one, one convertible 3LT. That's it, white. Actually looks pretty, but it is what it is. Uh, but as far as the electric cars, we know the sixth generation is probably gonna be the end of Camaro again. It's gonna go on hiatus unless they move forward their plans or keep building the car. And if you guys didn't know, 2016 through 2020 currently represents the sixth generation of Camaro. Um, I'm currently working on my car right now, but that doesn't matter. That's for a different video. But there's, there's a lot of things going down. And with GM moving to the electric platform, there's a, a little bit of excitement from my end because honestly, like I daily drive this big truck to work and it doesn't get terrible gas mileage considering it's on 37s and lifted. It, you know, I get about almost 18.6 miles to a gallon, which is nothing compared to an electric vehicle but I don't wanna to have to go buy a Tesla or something else. Like there's a lot of people out there that are just like, oh, it's heresy. If GM rolls out uh, an electric vehicle, they shouldn't call it a Camaro. I disagree with you. I would rather drive an electric Camaro than a different branded name car from Chevy because I like the Camaro brand. I like the heritage that Camaro has brought forth over the years. Yeah, we had a hiatus. Yes, they stopped production uh, from the fourth, between the fourth and fifth gen Camaro. And I'm okay with that. You know, there was a different time then. And if you look at Ford sales, they were terrible at that time too. Luckily, they didn't stop production. And 
I think it's, it will be a huge hit to the market if GM just stops making Camaro altogether. Uh, Mustang will really have no competition. And I'm also excited that GM, at least not yet, hasn't come out with Camaro variants of things. People have talked about, oh, rebrand the Blazer, Blazer as a Camaro. Like, please don't do that, GM. That's, that's not gonna be good. So, if they come out with an electric Camaro, I will be first in line to get one, as long as it's affordable. You know, if it's more expensive than a Z011 LE, we'll have to have that conversation at that time. But I'm excited. And in the second, in the second teaser outline that they showed in that video, and I'll show it here, I'll just do a screenshot. This looks very much like a Camaro. It has the hood cowl, it has all the slopes and lines, it looks like a sixth generation car. You know, I, I hope they change the design a little bit because uh, a lot of people were not happy with the sixth generation and sales kind of reflected that. And there's a lot of reasons for that. Again, another video, another time. But it, it looks like GM's gonna come down the pipeline with potentially a sports car that's not just a Corvette that could potentially be a Camaro. So I'm excited about that. I think it'd be really cool. I mean, everyone's gonna be like, oh, it's not a Camaro unless it has a V8, you know? And I have my Camaro with a V8. I'm, I'm gonna have two Camaros with a V8. So if you guys didn't know, I got a Lethal Classic going, a 71. It's just a bunch of parts on the rack right now because we have it up at another location getting the bodywork going. But I have an LS7 going into my second gen. I have an LT1, here are my sixth gen. If you guys want a V8 Camaro, they're out there. You can get them, enjoy them, love them, buy them while you can, because I don't know if it's gonna happen in my lifetime, but there's gonna be a time where gasoline motors will probably be outlawed. I, it's gonna happen. I mean, it, and if you're not watching that, uh, or at least, you know, it, we could fight to our death. Oh, you have to take it out of my dead hands. You know, they probably will at some point. So, and it may be me rolling over, whatever, but I'm gonna keep my V8s as long as I can. I have no plan to sell my sixth gen. I'm keeping my sec second gen forever. Hopefully gonna be able to give it to my kids uh, when the time comes. But an electric car would not be bad. In my daily instance, I commute over, what is it? About 100 miles each day. And I think it would be awesome to have an electric Camaro that I don't have to do anything to that just looks really clean, really stylish, has some cool tech in it and gets some good mileage and gets me to work. And I don't have to worry about gasoline anymore. And people are like, oh, I, I'm not trying to save the world. I'm sorry, I'm not, obviously not. I, I got a race car and I'm building a second gen that's gonna be carbureted. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, at least I could do is have a vehicle that has a less of a carbon footprint than this giant truck. I mean, I'd love to go get a brand new Silverado with a 6.2 10-speed and just enjoy the heck out of it. But honestly, at the end of the day, I'd rather be pocketing four or five, actually, I spent about $800 a month in gas plus my truck payment. So, you know, if I can get an electric Camaro for four or five, 600 bucks a month and have an electric bill that goes up maybe 120, 130 bucks a month on average, talk with a lot of people who own Teslas and kind of got an idea of what they pay to recharge their car and all that stuff, that's a huge discount. And that allows me to invest money into a property to build the eventual lethal garage that I'd like to do down the road. And you know, and that's me. I'd love to know what you guys think. I know there's a lot of you guys watching this video that are gonna be like, V8s or die, I'll never own an electric Camaro, I'll, I'll hate Chevy forever if they do it. And I get your position, but at least understand mine is all I'm asking. So I'm excited to see what the future holds for Camaro. I do hope GM keeps Camaro in the plans. This little outline is no guarantee a Camaro that's an electric base is coming, but knowing Mary is a huge Camaro fan, knowing that Al Oppenheiser's on the electric team, the drive line and all that stuff, I don't know his exact job. I'd love to sit down with him and talk about it one day uh, if that could ever be possible, but um, you know, we have people internally at GM that are huge Camaro fans. Guys who have gone to bat many of times to bring forth the best cars they could. All the way from the F body, all the way through. Al Oppenheiser was the lead guy on the fifth gen, sixth gen. He was the lead guy on getting the sixth gen uh, front end updated. So we would stop crying about the bow tie and the bumper. Uh, he's and these are just small things. Like he was the mastermind behind the Z28. 
I was really hoping the 6th Gen Z28 would have come to life, and we have proof that it was being worked on, and then it was canceled. Uh, it's, it's un, it's, what can I say here? It, it sucks <laughs> that it's gotten to that, but it did. And so I'm just hoping the Camaro nameplate lives on in some way or a fashion, and I hope it's not in an SUV. I hope they keep an EV sports car that keeps the Camaro name, and I will support it as long as it looks good, has some cool technology, and is just fun to drive. So either or, that's where I'm at. EV Camaro, I believe it's coming. Don't know when, don't know when the sixth generation is gonna come to an end. I honestly think they're gonna end the production of this specific car before 2023, and we're gonna have some quiet time on our hands, and then we can be all excited when they announce something, and all the diehards who hate electric will cry. So, yeah, that's where we're at. <sighs> but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I've already spilled my guts on it, so until next time, guys, see you on the road.